Hello everyone, it's your Hoshi Radio here once more. And actually, this is not a new episode at all. It's more of an intervention or whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you didn't watch the first episode yet, I highly su suggest you to watch it yet. I might try to add a link on the description to guide you to the first episode. Either way, uh, if you didn't watch it, it's about the Pokemon World Edge, the project I have going right now. And we had a little pro problem there. Basically, we are planning to change the colors of the of the Pokemon based on its typing to at least give us a hint of what kind of Pokemon we might be fighting against. So it wouldn't be something like a completely blind play. Sadly, things didn't go as expected because the color of the back sprite trainer is all messed up. I think it was purple or something. So I tried to do the same thing over and over with different platinum runs. And it didn't work. So I, I was wondering if the problem was really with the game or something else. So basically I used the same program, program I have for randomizing palettes on Pokemon Black and White 2. And guess what? It worked. So sadly we are going to remove the colors, palette changes and you also remove the Pokemon type changes, at least for this let's play. But we are still going to have the rest of the randomizing things like randomizing starter, randomizing Pokemon, randomizing Jack Race, randomizing Pokemon Power, Basic Power, uh, PP, randomizing Live Up Moves, randomizing Pokemon Trainers, and all of that crap. I mean, it's still a 50-50 emotional thing because you never know what they are going to have. And you can't grasp what's the basic part of a movie unless you have it, unless you saw it on a Pokemon. So, besides giving uh, this heads up, uh, I had to create a new file to do the randomizing again. So, we had a new starter, and everything is randomized again. So, yeah, might as well show what we have here. I actually... Ha this is what you have, a Ninjask. And for some reason you can't name your Pokemon Generation 4 yet. I think you are going to name it when you get the Pokeballs or something. But yeah, I had to choose between Ninjask, Meryl... And I don't remember what was the very last one, but I like bug types. And yes, bad as Ninjaski is because it's buggy flying, he is quite OP. First of all, he has Trace Man. Sirius is not a bad, bad nature for the Let's Play. It's better than having like timid nature or something that increases the attack. Also, it's on level 7 because of the first battle against... Uh, what is the name again? I, oh yeah, Botfetch. And I also trained it a little bit. I don't even know why I did it. But yeah, it has Trace as its ability, which is great for leading. Because you know what kind of ability they are going to have, especially in a randomized game, it's great. Also, look at this move, man. Earthquake has a 150 base power, 100 accuracy edge, soft boil, restoring half of its GDP. So I don't need to waste potions because with that you have insane base speed, no bar, nobody's going to show speed it. Air slash, while it's special, it's a freaking. 90 base power and 100 accuracy. So it's basically an uh, improved best. I mean, I think a slash is normally 95 and not too sure. And finally, 
uh, useless move because it has 70 accuracy and I can even use it without a berry. But yeah, I think that's all. As you can see, the, the name of the main character is Ishio RJ. And uh, our opponent, our rival, is Ishio Botfet. So that's all, guys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh my god, I, I forgot the main point of this video. Besides the exchange of the randomizer, of course. So, uh, we might get a little delay here because I ain't wait on Jake. He has, he, I forgot about it, but he has a gaming PC. But she, he doesn't have a microphone yet. So we might have to put the let's play on hold unless I find, find more friends to play with. I'm trying to get a, a few other people to tag along, but I'm not sure. If they will make it. So I might put, sadly put this let's play in a hold for a while. But as I said before, I will randomize the Pokemon Black and White too. So if you want me to to get the others uh, the other let's play going but solo, do let me know in the comments. And if you haven't if you haven't subscribed yet, please you subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I also would like to apologize about my strong accent once again. It's it's had it has been a while since I spoke in English, so I am a little bit rushed again. But hopefully during this let's play I'm going to get a little improvement. But that's all for that's all for now. See you guys later!